This is the Antlion Mod Mic USB 2. N no, not that USB 2, it's more like USB 2. The second generation of Mod Mic USB. This is actually quite different from the previous generation, so let me show you around it, and of course you'll be hearing me throughout the video using this microphone so you can make up your own mind about the audio quality. As a brief introduction to the mod mic, if this is your first time seeing one, this is a solution to the audio quality problem of gaming headsets. See, you can spend a pretty penny on some very fancy looking gaming headphones, and sure, you're likely to get a pretty decent set of cans and a good mic too, but they almost always pale in comparison to a proper set of audiophile headphones, and often cost more for less quality too. The downside to using audiophile headphones is that they don't come with a microphone which makes them less than ideal for gaming use. Enter the mod mic, a stick-on microphone that you can attach to anything, including VR headsets, that gives you great a great quality mic that you can attach to your audiophile grade headphones. This happens to be the USB version, meaning it just plugs in with a USB-A or USB-C via the adapter that's included in the box, and you get a mic that just works and sounds pretty good too. Right, with that out of the way, what's new here? Well, the first thing is the mic cap show and housing itself. It's huge! The housing itself is meant to improve the internal acoustics, and the capsule is physically larger, which helps reduce the signal-to-noise ratio, meaning less noise comes through. Part of the benefit of the USB version, compared to the new ModMic Uni 2, is that this is now an omnidirectional pickup pattern, while still having unidirectional noise cancellation. That's a great benefit for sure. The other new thing is the inline mute button. Now this is a little close for my liking, I'd prefer it to be a little bit further down because I kind of can't see it, you know, it's just out of eyesight range, but it's a nice soft press that when you press it you get a clean mute and unmute. Here's an example of unmuting. The one thing that I would personally love to see here is the soft falloff that Elgato uses in their mics. And with this being a USB mic, that should be possible. I mean, maybe with a firmware update or just in a future revision, who knows. But it'd be nice to have. Anyway, it's a handy feature to have this, especially in hardware, and relatively easily accessible. As for mounting, this is the exact same, now patented, mounting system Antline have used since basically their very first mod mic. It's magnetic so you can remove it nice and easily, but it's also got a sort of spiked uh, crown ring around the magnet itself that means you can flip it up and out of the way if you want. There is a bit of noise from the tiny bit of slop, you can hear it like that, but it's actually pretty decent. They also include two different sets of mounts in the box, along with an extra adhesive pad, so if you want to use it on, say, multiple headsets, or even just swap it from an, an old headset to a new one, you can. They also include a bunch of cable clips in the box, so that you can tie the mod mics wire to your headset's wire to keep it all neat and tidy. When it comes to the audio quality, well, You've been hearing it so far, and I'd love to hear what you think in the comments down below. But for me, this sounds fantastic. It's really crisp and clear, it's a hell of a lot better than some gaming headset mics for sure, and to me, it's pretty true to life. There is a bit of noise still, a bit of fuzz in the background, but frankly, every mic in this sort of format has that, so... I'm really, uh, I'm pretty happy with the audio quality, although again, I would love to hear what you think in the comments down below. For a bit of context, here is what my Audio-Technica ATH-G1WL's microphone sounds like. This, I think, is quite an apt comparison, as these headphones were meant to be the perfect mix between gaming-grade convenience features like wireless connectivity and a built-in microphone, while still giving you audiophile-grade audio quality. And yet, while the headphones themselves sound great, the mic isn't amazing. It's compressed, tinny, and has that sort of tin can effect to it. Compared to the mod mic here, there just isn't much comparison. Another bit of context would be this, the Elgato Wave 3. 
Now, this isn't exactly a fair comparison, considering this is, you know, a desktop mic, and this is a headset mic, but I wanted to include this because of just how close the mod mic gets to desktop mic levels of quality, at least to my, frankly, untrained ears. The mod mic sounds pretty much as clear as uh, this does to me, which I think is pretty high praise. Of course, the one catch with the mod mic is the price. This USB version comes in at £90, which is how much a decent gaming headset costs. With that said, the top-end gaming headsets, the ones where you actually start to get decent audio and mic quality, will set you back £150 to £250, which is about as much as something like the Bear Dynamic DT990 Pros and one of these ModMic USB 2s would cost. And actually, if you assume you already have the headphones, well then this is a no-brainer. The wireless version of the Gen 2 mod mic is on its way, although it's been delayed until next year now, so if you don't mind being wired in, this USB one is exceptional quality. Now if you want to pick one of these up, or just check out pricing when and where you watch this, because it can and does vary, I will leave a global Amazon affiliate link in the description that you can check out. If you want to see more videos like this one, you can hit the subscribe button, check out plenty of other videos in the end cards, and if you want to support the channel, you can check out a load of links in the description, including to my very own hardware, the open source response time tool, and open source latency testing tool at osrtd.com, and that's linked in the description. Otherwise, that's kind of it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the one mic in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next video.